कारवा मिनी श्री भगवान वाचा प्रजहाति यदा कामान सर्वान पार्थ मनोगता आत्मनीवात्मना स्थित प्रज्ञस्तोच्यते द ब्लेसिड लॉर्ड सेड ओ पार्थ वेन अ मैन गिव्स अप ऑल वेराइटीज ऑफ सेंस डिजायर विच अराइज फ्रॉम मेंटल कॉन्कॉक्शन एंड वेन इज माइंड फाइंड सैटिस्फैक्शन इन द सेल्फ अलोन देन ही सेट टू बी इन प्योर ट्रांसेंडेंटल कॉन्शियसनेस Rajahati yada kaman when a person gives up all kama means material desires any desire which is not for the satisfaction of krishna when we directly want to enjoy our senses that is called kam atmendriya priti vancha tare bali kam it just does not mean only the gross sexual desire but kama means any kind of desire which is meant for direct enjoyment of senses without pleasing the senses of krishna so person whose consciousness is absorbed in transcendence who is krishna conscious prajahati yada kaman he gives up all such desires why he gives up such desires because significant word used here is sarvan partha manogatan these material desires are actually the result of mental concoction this is very important our mind suggests us something you please do this and you will become happy and then we chase those suggestions of mind thinking that i will actually become happy but we have to understand just like a small child child's mind suggests him so many desires you get this toy you will be happy you eat mud you will be happy you eat many many chocolates you will be happy you don't go to school you will be happy but all these are harmful desires and we have seen previously the example of moth the mind of a moth suggests oh this fire is so nice if you have a closer look you will be very very happy and the moth loses its life following the suggestion of mind thus as long as the mind is contaminated by material energy it is not liberated one should not listen to the suggestions of mind so just like following the suggestion of mind in case of child and moth is very very dangerous it is dangerous for every conditioned soul so the suggestions of mind are because of association the material desires are actually because of association we are hankering for this pleasure which a person can only attain in samadhi when he is absorbed in loving service of krishna always thinking of krishna in absence of such pleasure in life then material desires arise in our life 